Professor Sharara has been talking about bowel preparation for surgery. Professor, could you explain to us why bowel preparation is so important? Uh, bowel preparation, of course, is critical when we do colonoscopy and or when surgery is planned because we want to clean the bowel of the residue and, of course, to diminish the bacterial load in the case of surgery. So for colonoscopy, it's critical that we see all the mucosa of the colon, and hence it's critical that everything is clean, really whistling clean, so you can see well and be able to detect any abnormality and do the proper treatment that's required. And how difficult is that to achieve? It's not that difficult, but the problem has really been the the taste of the preparation and the volume of the preparation. Those have been two issues that have really plagued, if you will, this, uh, this preparation issue, which effectively is what we call the Achilles heel of colonoscopy because it's really more difficult than the colonoscopy itself. So there are ways to overcome this, uh, and uh, they're namely two things. One is the preparation should be split, and there are a lot of evidence to support that. We did the first trial that have shown that this concept works and results in improved outcomes in detection of polyps, cleanliness, and patient satisfaction. So splitting the prep, meaning giving half of the amount the evening before and half of the amount the morning of the examination, leads to improvement in outcomes. And the second thing regarding taste, there are ways to get the taste to improve, either concomitant use of mentholiptus candy, sugarless candy with the preparation, or sometimes using low volume preparation that tastes well, but also requires some dietary changes with them. And are there studies which reveal the effect of this preparation on our outcomes? Yes, there are multiple studies that have looked at that. So initially it was, the first goal was to result in a better preparation. But since we have learned that not only does it result in bowel preparation that is improved, but also we see better, of course, and then we can pick up small lesions or even flat lesions that normally would be covered with residue or chyme or you know, some uh, adherent material. And patients actually, satisfaction is better. They're less nausea, they're more willing to take the preparation again, and they're more willing to basically be uh, satisfied with the outcome because they don't have to come back earlier for repeat examination because the preparation wasn't good enough. And how widely accepted in daily practice is this approach? There is room for better education, spreading the message more, but it is fairly effective and it, it works in making patients accept colonoscopy better. Professor, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.